Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music and we're doing a comparison today of the Spitfire woodwinds and the East-West woodwinds. So let's get started. First we'll look at the Spitfire Piccolo. I'll bring up the interface and Right now we're on the legato patch. So let's listen to this melody line. It'll be the same all the way through for the various legato patches in the woodwind instruments. So as we look at the Spitfire, the next patch we have in this multi is the long. Then we have long flutter, harmonics, here we have the Mercado. Staccato. Then we have our minor second trills or half tone trills and our whole tone or major second trills. Then the next, as a comparison, we have the East West piccolo flute. And here's the interface. And we'll go ahead and do the sustained vibrato patch, which is C sharp zero. And the volume can be adjusted by the mod wheel. Now in the orchestra, in the Hollywood orchestral woodwinds, we're using all four of the mic positions. So your close, mid, main, and surround in each of the patches for the east-west. Now let's take a look at the other some of the other articulations. A D zero is a sustained accent. So that's that patch. Then D sharp is legato. Round robin times four. E zero is staccato short, double tongue. F zero is the staccato double tongue. It's a little longer staccato. Then F sharp is the flutter tongue. And they say C1, but it's actually G1 is your uh, half tone trill. Then G sharp zero is your whole tongue. And then A zero is a repetition. And A sharp faster medium, and then B0 slow, and then C1 is special effects. Which don't seem to be loaded for some reason, but that doesn't really matter because we're 
comparing it with Spitfire and Spitfire. We're not really focused on special effects. We're focused on the main articulations you're going to be using. Um, now let's take a look at the Spitfire flute. So here's the interface. Almost the same as, if not identical to, the uh, piccolo flute for Spitfire. So if we choose the legato patch and then play the cue, Then going through the different articulations, we have the sustains. The long flutter. Harmonics. Marcato. Tenuto. Staccato. Minor second drill, whole tone, and then comparing that with the east west. Okay, we'll go ahead and select the C sharp articulation because we want to compare vibrato with vibrato. So here's the uh, east-west. Whoops. I thought we had the uh, C-sharp. Let's try again. Oh, I know what the problem was. Okay, we have it now. Here it goes. Halfway through, I switched to the D0. The D0 is a sustained vibrato, but it's more expressive. So if you like a really nice full vibrato, it's hard to beat the East-West for that. Okay, the next patch we'll look at is the Spitfire, but they're clearly comparable, and it's really a matter of taste. Okay, here's the Spitfire alto flute. And the interface, again, the same as the other Spitfire interfaces. Here's the legato patch, and we'll go ahead and play the cue. So as we look at the our different articulations, we have sustain or long sustain. Then the long flutter, the harmonics, marcato, tenuto, 
and staccato, trills, whole tone. And then comparing that, we have the east-west alto flute. And uh, I'll go ahead and hit the D0 articulation. C0 is sustained no vibrato, C sharp sustained with vibrato, and then the D0 sustained with a fuller vibrato. So let's listen to that. That one note was adjusted at the end because it was out of the range of the east-west delta flute by one note. So, um, so in addition to the sustain, sustain vibrato, sus sustain expressive vibrato, they have the <clears throat> sustain no vibrato vibrato, D sharp. So if I hit the D sharp, key switch, then we notice when the mod wheel is halfway, there's no vibrato. And then as you move the mod wheel up, you get the vibrato. You also get increased volume. So that's what that's all about. Then E0 is sustained accent. F0 is your short, or actually it's your legato repetition. Round robin times four. F sharp, staccato. Round robin times four. Okay, then the next instrument is the Spitfire Oboe. So here's our interface. We'll hit the legato patch. And by the way, in the Spitfire, all the mics are engaged. We have close uh, tree and ambient. Now, if as you've noticed, there is a, quite a lot of reverb in the Spitfire compared to the East-West but you can uh, decrease it by decreasing the mics, the ambient and the tree mic, and having more close. But when you do that, you're going to get reduced volume, so you have to compensate in some way. So let's hear the, uh, the Spitfire oboe on the cue. sort of uh, pumped the volume up a little too high on that one. Sorry about that. So in addition to the legato, we have the longs. We have the <clears throat> flutter, as well as marcato. as well as tenuto. And staccato. And then your half and whole tone. Trails. Here's your whole tone. And then comparing that to the east-west, 
So we're going to do the D0 again, the sustain expressive vibrato. It just seems to fit this cue better than just the sustained vibrato because it's a little more intense vibrato. So here we go. East, West, Oboe. Actually, we could pump the volume up a little bit on that. Let's try it and get more expression. So as we see, we have the sustains, the C0, C sharp, and D0. Then we get into the legato repetitions, round robin four with D sharp. And then with the E, we have the staccato short. F0 is just staccato. Double tongue, F sharp, marcato, short, and then really G1 is the trill, half, whole tone, or half tone, G sharp, whole tone, A0 repetition, and then F, A sharp is repetition, slow. And if you really like repetitions, then East, or sorry, Vienna, Vienna Symphonic Library has tons of repetitions, 150s, 180s, and they really have a lot of those kinds of articulations. So now let's take a look at the Spitfire bass flute. So again, we'll start with legato, go back to the cue. Actually, okay, here it goes. So this one probably could do with a little volume boost. that again. You can hear the sample a little better. Beautiful patch. Okay, and then in addition to legato, of course, we have the longs. Long flutter. Long overblown. And 
and this patch is tenuto. <laughs> And then staccato. Then in comparison, we have the east-west bass flute. So we'll go ahead and do the um, sustained vibrato C0. If I do C sharp, listen. So we have a bit of a crescendo. So let's go ahead and do the C sharp, the uh, sustain ex expression. Although it doesn't say vibrato, it is. Okay, so here we go with the with the uh, Q. Once again, very nice. So, and we do have in addition to the regular vibrato, expressive vibrato, we have the, as before, we've seen the sustain accent. D sharp is legato. Something's going on with um, when I lift up a key, it does that. Not sure why that is. E zero, staccato. Okay, next patch that we'll look at. Next instrument is the English horn, Spitfire. Here's our interface. And we have legato. I'll pump up the volume a little bit and then keep the mod wheel low initially and we'll play the cue. Okay, what happened is the mod wheel didn't move because I didn't have it on the focus. Let's try it again. Okay, so then we have our longs. Marcato. And trying to get Tenuto probably here. And then here's your staccato. And then let's look at the east-west English horn.
and we'll do the uh, the D0, the sustained expressive vibrato. It works well with this melody because of the long sustained notes. Sorry about that, had the uh, Spitfire going at the same time. So here we go. So that's your east west east west English horn. Next we have the Spitfire clarinet. Legato patch. And so you have your same patches, you have your longs, you have long flutter, you have staccato, and your trills, and your whole trill, whole note. And then Comparing that to the east-west clarinet, let's bring the volume up a little bit here. I'll put the mod wheel down low initially. Well, that was okay. Well, let's do. Um, let's see. Let's hear C sharp. Interestingly enough, we're really not getting vibrato from C sharp. C zero is non, is non vibrato. D zero is sustain accent. So I guess we'll just do it with um, non vibrato. And then in addition to the sustain and the non vibrato, we have the legato repetition, D sharp, staccato, E zero, and longer staccato, F sharp, F zero. F sharp is marcato shorts. And then our trills, half tone, whole tone. And that's really all we're working on this video because it's going to be long enough as it is. Okay, then we have the uh, bass clarinet, Spitfire. So let's go ahead and uh, hear how that sounds. It would be nice if we hit the legato patch. There we go. And then we have our 
sustains. Tenuto. Staccato. Half tone trills. And whole tone. Then comparing that with the east west bass clarinet. So we have C0 non vibrato, C sharp, so again no vibrato. So let's go ahead and listen to the cue with this patch. Sounds nice, but the melody sort of calls for vibrato. Okay, then we have the uh, Spitfire contrabass clarinet. In addition to the legato, we have the longs. As well as marcato and tenuto. And staccato. Then the contrabass clarinet for east-west. Uh, they don't really have a key switched multi for this patch, so we'll just listen to their sustain. And then the next instrument we'll look at is the bassoon. And we're almost there. So the Spitfire bassoon, legato patch. Volume looks pretty good there. Get the mod wheel low initially. Actually, I just realized I had the uh, ambient and tree mic turned down. So let's turn those up and listen one more time.
so sounds better with the additional reverb if you like that much reverb again that's personal preference so in addition to the legato we have the longs we have flutter harmonics Marcado, um, Tenuto, as well as Staccato, your trills, and then comparing that with the East West bassoon. We'll go ahead and we've got the sustained expressive vibrato, which seems to work well with this cue. So I'll go ahead and hit that key switch and let's listen to that. And So next we have the Spitfire Contrabassoon. And we'll start with Legato Patch. We have all our mics turned up. Looks like uh, maybe I'll add a little more volume just in case we want to express more. Okay, let's go down to the east-west. Well, actually, let's take a look at the articulations. We have our longs, our marcato, as well as our tenuto. Staccato. So now comparing that with the east west, and we do have the D's. Looks, oh, yeah, it's D3, so it's up. higher in this case. So there's your D3 because we're playing down in this range where the key switches were before. So they've moved the key switches up. Okay, so let's hear the uh, contrabassoon east-west on the cue. And I'll make sure that the mod wheel is not too extreme here. So very nice. So there you have it, a comparison between Spitfire and East-West woodwinds and the Hollywood orchestral woodwinds from East-West. So this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music. If you 
found this informative or interesting, please like. And if you don't want to miss a video that's coming up, please subscribe. So this is Bill McFadden from Tom Pure, signing off.